Hey everybody, Jason at WEFTECH 2018 coming from New Orleans, getting ready to check out the student design competition where students from over 20 universities all over the globe come to participate in this competition. These students and young professionals come to promote participation, provide networking opportunities, and encourage continued involvement in the water environment sector. Let's go take a look. Here with Curatio Engineering from Boulder, Colorado. Wow, very exciting. We just saw your presentation and you guys did an absolutely amazing job. Thank you so much. Have you guys been involved with WEF for a while or is this your first year? This is my first year. Yeah, yeah, yeah same well. with us. Same yep. mm -hmm. Did you guys find the competition to be difficult or more of just of a really enjoyable challenge? It was definitely a great learning experience. We definitely um, learned a lot more through this project than a lot of our classes, I felt like. Yeah, we put a lot of hard work in over the last couple of months in the summer, and so now it just kind of feels like we're getting to celebrate um, being done, but it was definitely a challenging experience. So tell us exactly what your topic was. So our topic is enhancing nutrient removal at Boulder's 75th Street Wastewater Treatment Facility. So we're specifically looking at reducing total inorganic nitrogen and total phosphorus. Fantastic, fantastic. So how many weeks, months, hours did you guys have to put into this in order to really get to the to the finish line? Uh, we started in January and now here we are. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, with really yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. It was our uh, senior design class that's when we started this project and yep. Uh, is it just the three of you that are on the team or are there others as well? We have three other teammates. They're actually right there. Yeah. <laughs> with your overall experience coming to WEF for the first time, is it something that you guys have really enjoyed so far? Definitely, yeah. This is only our second day. We'll explore more after this. I think getting exposure to just everything in the water industry business has been really beneficial and seeing how many people are involved from all over the country is really inspirational. Well, you guys did a really great job. It was great to hear all your information. It seemed like everyone in the audience was extremely interested as well and uh, really appreciate the time today. Yeah, Thank, thank you, so you so much. Thank you. We're from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville and we currently did a project on the Alex Lay Farm stream restoration. We wanted to increase the, uh, the stability of the stream. Was the competition difficult uh, to put together for you? It, it definitely wasn't easy. Um, we spent, we've been working on this project since, I guess about September of last year. Um, it's kind of when we really started pushing on it and we've, I mean, we've been out to the site several times. It's, it's taken a lot of work, a lot of hard hours, a lot of late hours in our senior design lab, so. Do you guys want to give me an exact definition of what your topic was? So the main concern with us was that we needed to restore the banks. Um, we needed to restore the banks in order to um, give them more land use that they than they currently have. Because right now they were losing a lot of land with a lot of erosion going on. And they still wanted to have access to both sides of the properties. So we wanted to work with them in order to give them something that was economically feasible and also meet all their needs. It seems like you guys uh, worked very well together as a team. Everyone really loved your presentation, and uh, we really appreciate you guys taking the time to do a quick interview with us. V-O-L-S, go Vols, go! <laughs> nice. And we are back with another group of young water professionals that just got done giving their presentation in the student competition. How are you guys doing today? Good. 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 Yeah. yeah. Has it been a uh, difficult experience for you guys going through this whole process? We, we've been working on this project since uh, last semester, so um, it definitely took a, it was a semester long project then and like we still were working on it throughout the summer, um, touching it up finally um, to get it ready for this competition, but it was a lot of hard work, but uh, it was totally worth it. What exactly was your guys' topic that you gave your presentation on? So basically it was a feasibility study for an area near our school. Um, that is currently unincorporated and uses septic well systems and it was addressing the um, the changing demographics of the area and how the wastewater management system needs to change with those changing demographics. Uh, and one final question for you, what is some information or some knowledge you guys would want to pass along to other future uh, young water professionals in this industry? Definitely do this sort of thing, work out these projects, I don't figure out how to do these sorts of consulting things early because it's a lot of fun and uh, you get to go cool places like this. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well guys, thank you so much for coming all the way out from Notre Dame. I know this is a huge event and a big moment and uh, we're really excited to have you here. So thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, that was some really great information and insight from these young water professionals. Stay tuned for more here at WEFTECH 2018.